Hello everybody, my name is Ungar, and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. Today, like I said at the end of last video, we're going to be doing a Black Ant free play. So, um, yeah, we're going to create a new game. Obviously, we're going to be the Black Ants. And the map we're going to be playing on is the Dunes. Um, let's name this Black Ant free play. Uh, let's put the environment to hard, like we've been doing with everything else. Um, say we'll upkeep hard ramp difficulty. We're going to go down here. Our victory is going to be score. For today, we're going to be getting to around 20,000 score. It's kind of hard to get exactly, but we're going to go for 20,000 to win. And we're going to do randomized caverns with less resources and less danger. I'm gonna turn the normal creatures on except for beach. Don't really like the spider web, so I'm going to be turning that one off. And we're going to press start. So while the game is loading, please like, uh, subscribe, and yeah, do that. And immediately, we're just going to dig out here. Dig this out and start building a chamber of black ants. Maybe a smaller chamber of workers. Nest entrance is over here, so we're going to want to start digging there. But until we have a soldier down, unless we run into these pockets, that might be pretty bad. There's not much around. We might be able to take that out, barely. I'm not gonna risk it though. Just gonna save food and build more workers and just go for the surface. Gonna build three workers. Put these back in here. And just continue digging this way. Yep, there we go. Now that we have some eggs in there, those three will be on nest duty and protect the queen. While our larger group of workers are going to go and scavenge above ground for resources. Okay, now we've broken through here. I'll open this up a bit. And we are just about to the surface. There we go. So immediately just head here. Um, yeah. Some of these things uh, look a bit new. We haven't seen them before, like the fish and these aphid farms. Uh, they're free play things along with uh, the second tier things that spawn. I turned off the second tier creatures, but it's not going to be fun only having this and the spider web for our um, landmarks. So we're going to be keeping them on. If you don't want to see any of that before we actually get to the second tier, I mean, you kind of already seen it, but stop watching the video, I guess. Um, now that that's out of the way, we're just gonna keep on collecting. I'm gonna turn attack off, so we kind of just want to collect some food and build another group of workers. So I can move that group back. And I'm also going to build a food storage chamber. I would build it closer to the nest entrance, but this and this kind of block my way, and there's not much space down here, so it's just gonna have to be like that for now. Uh, yeah, there's not really much else to comment on for the time being, so I'm just going to continue collecting food and narrating what the ants are doing what we're building, why we're doing it. Yeah, not not really anything interesting. Got our first 
soldier. And a few food storages. Yeah, there's other food near us, but it's guarded by a lot of very powerful enemies. Like Devil's Coach Horse and bigger Devil's Coach Horse. Yeah, that's really the only enemy. There are the wood lice around. And these guys that spawn for the fish. But they shouldn't be much of a problem, because they can't really... They either can't harm us, or will have a certain set path to follow and won't directly attempt to attack us. So yeah, this is almost done being collected. second soldier chamber and finish placing and begin upgrading our food stores along with the third and final group of workers Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to go for this next. This is gonna be pretty risky, but that's a lot of food, and like I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, free play enemies despawn after a little while, so this food won't be here forever, so it's more important to collect corpses than landmark food. And I think I'm going to pull our forces inside for a little, build our final group of workers, and start working on a second group of soldiers. So now we have two food collection groups, and yeah, we're just going to send everyone back out. continue on. Soon we're gonna want to start fighting these guys because um, we really need space to expand into. Uh, the food that's available isn't really sustaining us much anymore, so we're gonna need to start expanding to like down here and hopefully these two areas. These are more ideal. Yeah. The surface is actually a little laggy because there are a lot of creatures at once. I usually play with more creatures and it's nowhere near this laggy. It might be something with the recordings. If so, that's going to be a problem for when we have other colonies with hundreds of ants. And okay. So we're gonna begin our first duel with this Devil's Coach Horse adult and pretty much rip it apart. Yeah, they don't stand much of a threat alone because their attack speed is pretty low, but usually, yeah, they've got capital. And, uh, my dog. Yeah, ignore my dog. He's just always kind of annoying. But now we're gonna continue on and send everyone over here now. Because we've basically cleared this out, so it's time to start expanding. 
soon we're gonna want to start building even more soldiers. Maybe start connecting some brood chambers a little more. Gonna build two more soldier chambers. And uh, forget the final worker chamber, I'm gonna build one more. So yeah, now we have groups that are strong enough that we can split them into two groups, one for this aphid and one for this aphid, and turn on their attack. Then I'm going to send a third group over here with these soldiers. And then after that, since the difficulty will progressively get harder, this will just be a soldier group with food collection off that will defend groups that require assistance, or defend the queen. For the time being, we're just going to continue upgrading, building, and falling back. Because that is a lot of creatures. I'm gonna turn off attack and try and, yeah, sneak some food. And then just have this group defend the queen until we get a strong enough group. Okay, Tess, go sit down. Very sorry. My dog is not the best dog, I guess you could say. I mean, he's a good dog. But, you know, kind of annoying when I'm doing these kinds of things. Ignore her, please. Please try to. Uh, okay, so our forces are kind of being overwhelmed by this this little guy right here. Not little. Uh, four times the size of a black ant, according to the narrator. Who would usually be narrating instead of me. But you can see why there'd be a problem if there were two voices at once. And we're actually halfway to the objective. So this might be a pretty short video. Um, I'll do 30 next time, the maximum is 60, so maybe more at some point. We're probably gonna be not even able to finish these groups before we run out of, um, score before the victory. But for the time being, we're just going to continue collecting all the aphid food, which is bringing in a steady stream of resources, and we don't really need an attack group that's large for now. So maybe just one or two ants. Maybe five. Five would be a good reinforcement number. Uh, yeah. That's why we might want some defending our queen as well. Because they start coming for our nest, especially on higher difficulties in free play, they'll charge at our nest. Which can be quite problematic. Um, I'm actually gonna send these guys up here and turn on food gathering, because this guy is pretty much dead, and we need to be collecting more food. A lot more food. So get five, um, maybe seven. Yeah, depending, yeah, that was, that was pretty close, actually. I might go for five, no, seven, I mean, sorry. And then continue upgrading these groups in terms of numbers. Collecting a lot, a lot of food. I'm going to bring group one down here. 
because this one is entirely empty on aphids. I'll have them do a quick run in and then back to here. Okay, so this group has seven, this group, and this group. I think I might try and get to ten on each. And then ten here. And maybe start doing some upgrades. Because, um, yeah. Eventually we'll have too many ants to use effectively. So once I get all these down, I'll upgrade these 10 to level 2. And that might actually be enough to get us to the victory. Because we're getting really close. Really fast. Okay, so now that that's all cleared, I'll send group 2 over here. Along with finishing off this group. And this one next. We need just a little more food. And there we go. Send group one for a final helping hand over here. And they can head back now. And group three should be able to handle it. Pretty well. Finish this group and pretty much finish this group. Yeah, at night the difficulty increases a good amount uh, in terms of creatures attacking your nest and just the spawn rate of creatures. So I think I'm gonna pull this group over here to aid our food collection groups because yeah, that's gonna happen. And finally turn off their food gathering and begin making them more elite soldiers. Okay, there we go. So now that's all done. Um, there are no more threats now, so I'm going to turn their food back on and send them over here. Okay, after this video, I'm going to be very mad with my cat and dog. Um, I'm not exactly sure if you guys can hear it, but you can very much hear them wandering around fighting each other. No, no, I wasn't talking to you. I mean, I was, but not directly. Uh, that's about it. I'm gonna send all groups back here so that we can collect everything and have a pretty nice cinematic end to the level. Is that... Yep. Okay, there we go. That is the Black Ant free play. Next video, I'm going to be doing a Gene Thief free, free play, and maybe doing a 35,000 score instead of 20,000, because that was really quick and we really didn't get much done in terms of nest construction and size. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment about whatever you want to. I don't really care. And I'll see you all in the next video.